Hello, my name is Rayel Sleeman and in this screencast I'll be doing a review and a walkthrough of a new cloud-based IDE named Coding with a K. It's K-O-D-I-N-G. Now there's been a lot of cloud-based IDEs come out recently and to be honest, I don't think I'd ever use any of them for some hardcore development. Um, however, this Coding IDE is showing some promise and that's why I thought I'd do a screencast on it. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Just move me out of the way. Alright, there we go. Just make my face smaller. Make this window the right size. Okay, so this is the coding website. It's got a very nice color scheme. We'll just log in. At the moment it's invite only, but um, I'm sure that will change soon. Uh, I actually have three invitations, so if you like this and you want to give it a shot yourself, just, you know, first in, first serve, I guess. Alright, so once we've logged in, you can see, I guess, we've got this nice, neat interface. This looks like it's giving us a social aspect to our IDE, and we get to see what people are doing, and what groups they're a part of, and what's happening in the coding space. Um, and then we can drill down and find some more, I guess, organized discussions. You can try and find people. Um, and then there's the actual IDE itself, which we'll get into again. And what I think is the most promising feature about coding, which are its apps. Alright. I'm hoping that when they release this, that they allow these, this social aspect to be more centered around um, actual projects and not just all of coding in general because it'd be really cool to collaborate with people and um, talk about issues and, and share code and things like that about your project and not the whole you know, programming ecosystem in itself which I guess there are a million other services that would do that much better and I'm guessing that's probably the way they're going to go as well alright so what does coding look like? Looks like a pretty standard web-based IDE if you've ever used one. You've got your files on the side. It's just a basic tree. Um, I bet if you open them, you're going to get you're going to get going to be able to edit them. So what makes coding so different? Why do I think it's such a promising IDE, and well, why it's going to stand out from the others? Well, first of all, it has a support for a whole host of different technologies. So you've got Ruby, Python, Perl. Um, and there's JavaScript, CoffeeScript, uh, to name just a few. Um, but the way it does things different is it revolves around applications. So unlike IDEs where you don't really control what or how you edit your applications or your files, um, the coding IDE lets you basically install apps and see and, and use those apps that you've installed to manipulate your development environment. So if we have a look here, you've got things like UML generators, Pixel, Pixlr, which is a graphics design application, um, things for docs, you've got dashboards for certain technologies. And because it's such an early, early beta, um, there are many more still to come. And um, if you have a look at how this is in practice, let's say we want to create a new file. Um, well, we get to choose from our app. So if we're going to create an image inside our project, or we're going to edit one, well, basically we would use the Pixlr editor, which I'll show you here. I mean, excuse the resolution, it's, it's slow, it's quite small because of the screencast, but, you know, it, it has the full features of the normal Pixlr application, except it's now integrated in your IDE. So watch me save. I can save it to the coding platform, and let's do that now. Beautiful. And now I'll be able to access that in my project. So let's say my website has some images that I need to modify. I can get to them and access them really quickly. In fact, quicker than I probably could on my desktop. So that's really, really good. Um, and the other thing about apps is that, you know, you can get used to whichever apps you want. So there's not just one editor. Most um, IDEs on in browser IDEs come with Ace most likely Ace and it's probably been hacked up to make it a bit more capable but here we have Code Mirror and WiMAX and I'm guessing people are going to be able to build their own apps which is just going to make this ecosystem super capable. And here is where I guess 
I was blown away by coding. The terminal application, which allows you to manipulate your project environment in a bash terminal or a bash shell. So if you have a look, uh, I'll do a ls, you can see the same structure here as you see here and it's a fully featured bash uh, shell and terminal actually so we can run applications so if I run node I've got node.js 8, 1, 1, 8 plus 1 and there you go so um, if I type some garbage you can see that it's a proper environment so I guess in the future what we can see is people building uh, development tools like continuous integration or test suites um, or build tools to specifically for coding and hopefully coding can become more powerful than our desktop IDEs and having something that's available anywhere and in an environment that will be and running things in an environment that will be exactly the same no matter which computer you're on without having to use applications like Vagrant with all their complex setups and provisioning and things like that I mean this is looking like a really good thing and I hope I hope it takes off so that's it for now um, Thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see more of me soon.